Ciao everybody, Matteo Guricelli here and welcome back to another cooking session with me here at Casa Guricelli. All right guys, these uh, recipes are the recipes of my nonna, my grandma, my dad. Uh, basically when I would go home to my grandparents house, my nonna, no, no, the table was purely Italian, even the water. Most especially the pasta, which in fact, the pasta was always Barilla. Okay guys, I'm gonna be cooking today a very, very simple dish, but let me tell you, this is my wife's favorite. And she says, I make the best. But let's see, I want you to try it. So guys, follow me and I'm gonna be cooking the pasta spaghetti al vongole. All right, Barilla offers different um, variants of spaghetti, no? So we have uh, angel hair, which a lot of people, a lot of, uh, in the Philippines, a lot of Filipino people like it, love it, angel hair. My cousin Donico loves angel hair. So it's numero uno, number one. We have spaghetti with number five, and of the, the other spaghetti, linguine, 13. All right, so it's up to you on what you want to choose, what kind of spaghetti, what kind of pasta you want to use. Well, angel hair is a very thin type. Number five is the basic type. But today, let us go with the linguine, number 13. Okay, here we go, let's do this. All right, let's do this. Let's get it there. Olive oil is cooking. So I like putting um, nice garlic in there. I just like the garlic to be nicely cooked, not toasted again. So I'm gonna do a serving for two. Me and my wife, of course, put that vongol inside. What we did before this, we already cooked the vongole. That's why the vongolets are always, all the clams are open. That's what we did. So now I'm going to measure the pasta again. One pasta serving for me is 80 grams. I don't know about you, but that's how we do it. Um, 80 grams, so 160, 160 of linguine. Okay, that's the pasta we're gonna be using. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Of course, the best, the best, the best. A little bit more, my wife loves this, so, okay. Water's boiling, I prefer rock salt. Um, the previous episode I just used normal salt, but I prefer, this is Italian, uh, sale di mare. Okay, boom, put it more there. One more pinch, just a pinch. Again, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret of how I do this vongole. Um, I love vongole, especially when you use very, very fresh uh, clams, so you can smell that. Of course, the, the vongole, you want that vongole to be a little salty, tasting like that sea water, no? High-quality spaghetti pasta do not need to be uh, adding oil into it because, you know, the, the, the wheat we use is very, very high-quality and very good. All right, guys, I'm just telling you, I'm not a professional chef. I'm gonna taste that clam soup. I, I noticed this when I cook for my wife. Okay, getting there. When I cook for my wife and I just have to cook because I have to cook, it's not good. But when I cook because I want her to be happy, I want her to be more in love with me, with more heart, that's when it's the best. For the linguine, they say nine minutes. So you got that on my swatch, nine minutes. Let's bring it to around eight minutes so that we can, we can further cook it in here. Guys, I have a little secret what I do with my, uh, my vongole. Afterwards, I'm gonna be showing you just to add a little more color into it. When you cook pasta and when you have pasta, when it is always seafood, you never add grana or parmesan cheese. You just eat it seafood, okay? Because it's some people add it, but it's like a mortal sin if you add cheese into seafood. Now, I'm gonna add some color into it. We put some cherry tomatoes. Now, we like to use local produce. So these tomatoes are very red and they're from Tagaytay. Local Filipino tomatoes. So they add color in the, in the vongole, okay? So that's nice. That's something very nice that we do. Some people do it, some people don't. Well, this is our recipe here in Guidicelli. Sometimes what's nice to do is you break down the little cherry tomatoes so those juices of the cherry tomatoes goes and mix, mixes into the vongole sauce. No? So after a while, you wanna add some white wine into it. Um, why? Uh, oops, sorry. You add a little more acidity into the, into the pasta, into the sauce. No? Just a little bit, just a sprinkle, add that acidity. So we're almost there, guys. We're very, very close to perfection. Okay, guys, it's time to pull it out. Vongole is nice and cooked right there. Let's take this and strain it out. Remember not to waste all the pasta water because you like and you want the pasta water. You wanna keep that. Get it right here. Put it back, boom. You wanna save that pasta water for your uh, pasta not to get too dry, you know? Lovely, lovely spaghetti linguine. Let's move it in there. From this, this will cook and become al dente in here. Okay, let me plate that properly for you. All right. Putting it in here for serving for two. Might seem a lot. 
because of olive oil. Always remember to chop that basil with your fingers um, so that the, the, the flavors of the basil comes out. So we're gonna taste this baby right here. So we're gonna mix that up because the sauce is underneath, now it's more wet underneath. But the vongole is always good. And of course, your ingredients always must be fresh. All right, here we go, taste test. Hope my wife likes this too. You see, with the, with the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, it adds more color to the dish. It's not, just, it's not just white and brown from the clams, but you add some reds into it and you put basil on top. Makes it nice. Let's go. Mm. 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 So this is the way to play the vongole. Mm? <laughs> See, I told you guys I'm not a professional chef. I'm a home chef. Okay. So remove the basil, have it parsley. Okay. Please taste. Bueno? Good? Mm. Too much al dente, but it's good. Right. Well, too in much al dente. It's good. it's good. Thank you very okay. much, Papa. All right, you may have this in the office. No, wait, wait. Then I get some parsley. Okay. And then I get this. Ciao. Okay. Ciao. Oh, he broke the light. Okay, guys. Marami salamat. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed the al dente pasta which my dad just broke the light and walked out. But anyways, he stole the pasta. But still, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that with only the best linguine, the best pasta with Barilla. Follow us on Barilla Philippines on Facebook. See you guys for next dish.